Hello everyone and welcome back to Eating Sprouts. My name is Bliss van Amsterdam and today I'm going to share with you the first report of my challenge of how I'm going to lose 100 pounds eating healthy. And today is exactly day 15 into the challenge. That is two weeks and one day, and which means it's day number 22 without eating any sugars, okay? And the report basically during these 15 days since I started this challenge, the biggest news is the cast that you see over here. This cast, they put it on me over a week ago. And the reason is because when I went to the doctor, they determined that I had my hand fractured and that therefore I needed this for a few weeks and obviously it's creating all kinds of problems because they told me to keep it dry uh, inside, not let it to go wet inside. And of course, as I sweat, you can imagine that brings a lot of problems. And basically, uh, that has been the only one rule that I broke this week is that I have not been able to follow up with the 30 minute walk or 5,000 steps walk a day because of this cast. And everything started really well. In fact, I walked the, the first three, four days. I, I went for long walks, more than 5,000 steps. I, in fact, I did like 10,000 steps at the time. And I was really happy. I was counting my steps with my new Fitbit HR, which is my favorite, which I bought again recently, and everything was going really well, except that I got some blisters in my feet, probably because I was using the wrong kinds of shoes, or probably because my feet weren't yet used to walking these long distances. I don't know, but in any case, I took care of the shoe situation because it's very important to always use the right shoe for going walking or exercising especially if you're a heavy person like me. But that is a good information for a future video of how to choose the right shoes when you're going exercising. But for now, basically, I already took care of that. And after a couple of days of recuperating my feet from the blisters, I started walking again and I was really happy. And that's a couple of days later when I went to the doctor and bam, that's when I got the cast. And since then, uh, it has been really bad because as I walk, I sweat a lot. You can understand this is Miami, Florida. This is very humid here. And it doesn't matter how much you walk outside, you most likely will be sweating a lot. And of course, it could be good for exercising, but it's really bad when you're trying to keep your cast dry. So unfortunately, I had to stop going out at all walking. And I've been basically staying indoors, which has been really frustrating because I really I'm enjoying walking, I really want to go out walking, and plus all the energy that I get from eating healthy food, rich in minerals, rich in energy, and all these wonderful things, my body's feeling really good, really strong, I'm feeling really healthy, I feel wonderful. My body smell is wonderful, that when I smell my clothes after working out, it smells grandiose. I really love my body smell and it is incredible. So I'm really happy in that regard and that is all due to what I'm eating, but unfortunately I have all this energy which I cannot burn. And this morning I just had enough and I said, that's it, I'm going out for a walk. So I put my new shoes and I went out for a walk and I walked about 8,000 steps and I loved that I came back, I was so happy. But then again, yes, oh, I rolled the sweat, went inside and it got wet, it's still wet and it starts smelling not so well. And you see, that's a problem and unfortunately, as long as I have this, I will probably not be able to walk the 5,000 steps a day as much as I want, as much as I'm enjoying it. That's the one thing that has been a problem. In terms of the foods that I'm eating, I've been doing really well following every single rule. In fact, I haven't even eaten any fish or meat, and I certainly didn't even have my cheat meal these two weeks. I didn't need it. I don't want it. I've been cooking at home, and I have not been starving myself. I eat what my body wants. I drink as much liquid as my body wants. I'm drinking a lot of water and some teas. I'm drinking green teas and chamomile teas, and they're delicious and I'm enjoying myself very much. I'm sleeping really healthy. I'm really happy with everything. On the negative side, I have been eating some junk food and I say junk food uh, because these are foods that are within the rules but are processed and pre-packed and definitely not things that I should be eating. So I just wanted to disclose here with you uh, what I've been eating that I think that I shouldn't be eating anymore. And these are peanuts, uh, salted peanuts, also white corn tortilla chips, also blue corn tortilla chips, which I mix with my food, really delicious. Popcorn or lightly salted popcorn, uh, plantain chips and vegetable chips of sweet potato, taro, batata and parsnip, which are delicious, all these vegetable chips. And yes, they have the uh, non-GMO certifications and the organic certifications and that's wonderful. This is wonderful, but still these foods 
are processed food. Some of them are fried and some of them were very rich in salt, in sodium. And actually the white corn tortilla chips and the peanuts were loaded with salt and really they were not good. I think of all the things that I've been eating here, probably the popcorn, the lightly salted popcorn are the better one because it's really not that bad, but I have been eating uh, every day of this stuff and it's probably not very good that I continue doing that. So I've been cutting on some of those, the white corn tortilla chips and the peanuts, I definitely cut them already and I'm gonna start cutting everything else. But I felt that I had to share with you uh, the good, the bad and the other, and this would be the other uh, of what I've been eating, but I'm gonna start cutting those. So other than that, the challenge has been going really well. And actually this morning I weighed myself and I weighed exactly 294.6 pounds, which if we subtract to the original 302.6 pounds is exactly eight pounds, which is just roughly about three and a half, 3.6 kilos, which is okay for two weeks. It's not what I wanted. I was hoping to see more, but considering that I have been eating calorie rich processed foods and I have not doing the exercise that I wanted, then it's probably okay because it certainly represents progress. And then when I measured my waist, I measured 54 inches, which subtracted to the original 55 inches results in a solid one inch weight loss, which is okay. Again, not what I was expecting, but I guess it's certainly headed in the right direction. And basically that's the report for today. Soon I'll be making another video and I'll teach you how much I actually spend on the food that I'm cooking and later I'll make another video teaching you how I prepare what I cook. So maybe you can try it at home if you want. And with that, basically, if you like the challenge that I'm doing, give me a like to let me know that you like what I'm doing. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe now because it is here in this channel where I'll be teaching you all the progress and exactly what I'm doing to achieve all this progress of how to lose 100 pounds eating healthy, as well as a lot more information and tips on how to eat healthy and live a healthier lifestyle. My name is Bliss Van Amsterdam and I'll be seeing you in the upcoming videos. Bye.